It's almost as if good monitor reviews are not possible on this channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to Objective Reviews. My name's Nick, and today we are gonna be taking a look at the LG 27 UK 650 LED monitor with HDR. What does it actually support HDR? Let's find out. Setting up this monitor is no pain at all. You get the stand for free in the box and you get the LED panel itself, 27 inches across diagonally and 3840 by 2160p resolution, the usual 4K monitor stuff that you would expect in a box. Nothing new to see here. You also get LG's usual OSC menu, so nothing new to see there either. However, what this monitor does have over the monitor I am currently using is HDR. Now the funny thing here is there are three input ports on the back and a power port and a audio out jack. The funny thing is that this has HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.2, neither of which support HDR input. So if this display does support HDR but cannot accept HDR inputs, how does this whole situation work? Well, the display does support 10-bit color, 8-bit plus FRC, and it does reproduce colors very well. The color accuracy is slightly off here and there. Well, a lot of the HDR bit is mostly software, and you need to go and select the HDR profile from the OSD menu, which kind of sharpens up a lot of things and makes everything look very weird. So if you're using the HDR profile, you gotta be sitting at least six to seven feet away before you notice a nice smooth image. But once again, this is not actual HDR and it is simulated HDR, where the panel will push the highlights higher up and cross the shadows lower down. So to give you a wider color contrast between the highlights and the shadows and also saturate the colors up a bit. And I've also noticed that this particular panel also sharpens up uh, the image by a lot. So everything looks very, very sharp and I don't know for what reason, it really looks really bad. So let's also talk about general things monitor stands also do. You have your usual tilt and swivel and rotate and this monitor can also be used in the 90 degree or portrait orientation. So all's good in that department. The stand plasticky is very well built. It can hold its own weight and the monitor's weight. However, it's a bit shaky as you can see here. So just keep that in mind when lugging this monitor around here and there in the office or at home. So what are the pros and cons of this monitor? Let me break it down into the good, bad, and ugly categories. Uh, the good. So the color reproduction in the Rec. 709 space is absolutely delicious. The colors are very vibrant, pretty color accurate, and really, really good looking. As you can see, I have set that to Rec. 709 right now. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, Apart from that, uh, is there anything else good about this monitor? Not really. It is pretty similar to the 27UD68P and without much differences, except that this is in white, that is in black. Apart from that, except for the color reproduction, no other major changes. Still uh, 4K with 60fps. All right, now let's move on to the bad. Uh, I would have preferred DisplayPort 1.4 inputs and HDMI 2.0 A or B spec revisioned HDMI ports on the back so actual HDR input can be sent to the uh, monitor. Unfortunately, that is not the case, so HDR support is software only. Another very weird thing is that this monitor has speaker grills at the bottom but does not come with speakers included, which was super weird. You could have just closed it because it's not gonna act as an air vent. There are no fans to pull cold air in. Now the ugly, the ports, like I said, uh, apart from that, the stand, the stand of my 27UD68P uh, is much more sturdy, has much more heft to it compared to this one. So given me the option, I would any day pick the 27UD68P stand over the 27UK650. What would have been a good to have more local dimming zones and uh, less bleeding of the light when the picture or the image is completely black. That would have been really, really super and would have actually benefited the HDR capabilities, however small, of this display. So uh, LG marketing this as a HDR capable display is really, really shit. I love LG as a company. I prefer buying their products over other companies for particular segments of consumer electronics. However, uh, if given me the choice to buy this monitor, I would say nope, not at all. Uh, 
thank God I did not buy this monitor. But to the person who bought it, he's gonna have a field day with it watching movies and working on it because for that purpose, for the Rec. 79 color space, this is one brilliant monitor. So if you are looking for a monitor primarily working in the Rec. 709 space, uh, you can consider this monitor over the 27UD68P. So yeah, this is a slightly newer model and there's a slightly different model, I believe is the 27UK in 850 or 950, which also has USB-C input, so makes connecting it to modern laptops a lot more easier. So if that's your thing, you can check that out. I'll link all of these down in the description. They're affiliate links. So whenever you buy using uh, buy something using those links, I get a small kickback with no extra charges for you guys. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.